So you've made your little doodle and you've sent it to yourself on WhatsApp and you want to trace it on Adobe Animate. So you copy it and you paste it here. And this is pretty much the fastest possible way to trace an illustration on Animate. So here's what we do. I'm going to show you the basics and this is going to be really quick. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So we deselect Command G. And so what we did here is create a group. This group is now on top of this layer. Okay, so I can't move the layer, I can't do anything with the layer. And I can now draw on top of it the way I need to. Um, so here's what, what I would recommend. I hate the pen tool. I don't like the pen tool. This is the pen tool. You can move it, you can blah, blah, blah. I don't like it. It's very slow. And it's not always accurate. And it's a pain in the ass when it comes to a lot of things. So here's what I recommend. I recommend using this. And I know it's going to look weird, but hear me out. This is the most modifiable tool in Animate, which is the, just the basic line tool. So if we select this, we'll now be able to bend these in any direction that we see fit. Not only this, not only that, this is going to be also pretty uh, easy to work with. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say, uh, let's take the basic brush tool. When these lines interject, you'll be able to delete what's, you know what I mean? Like the, the interjecting line. It's so easy to delete whichever parts you want. So if you want to create something here, pimple, you can just do it and delete or bend these lines to your will. That's, to me, that's one of the fastest ways of tracing or character design. Same goes for the circle. This is why I use Animate rather than uh, Illustrator because it's much faster and much more efficient. And I'm not even doing this at top speed. I'm just doing this to show you what it looks like. And you can even do this with, with a rectangle, for example. I want to show you an additional tool, which is really useful here. So if you click the Alt button and you drag, it creates a point. So this point now gave you another like uh, gave you leeway basically on how you want to bend these you can modify it as as needed there you go you can bend the shape move it in any way you want you can create lips where there were no lips before it makes you feel like a god so there we go it's a super easy trace and super quick trace Oh, no, don't auto-recover now. Okay, there we go. And even with the brush tool, if we do this, if we trace these, we can just select the faucet tool and delete the interjecting lines. I don't know why I'm using a thick line. Oh, 23. I hate that. But anyway, it's fine. Okay, so same goes for this pup. If you have a steady hand, you can pretty much trace on the go, like so. Then you can just connect these. Boop. Delete this part. Delete this part. Delete this part. Blah, 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 blah. So you see how easy it is to modify these lines. And all we're doing is, is we're drawing this in our group on top of our original picture. So now if we do this here, we'll be able to modify these parts. Bloom, bloom. Cool, yeah. It's pretty easy. I used to do like kids' illustrations using the mouse when I didn't couldn't afford a pen. <laughs> I would draw these kids magazines like 300 illustrations a month just using Adobe Animate because it was so fast and efficient. You can do it in, 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 in much simpler uh, ways. Everybody asks me why don't you use Illustrator. Illustrator is really nice and it's a great artistic tool but this is much more efficient man. And you can animate these characters on here. What, what, what's better than that, you know? Draw it and animate it in the same place. Instead of like illustrating on Illustrator and then sending it to After Effects to animate it or to Flash to animate it. <laughs> you see how easy it is? You can modify this in any way you want. You can take it anywhere. It's really cool. And we're basically done with our basic design. As you can see, Oop. missed one. There we go. There we go. Let's modify the 
stroke. Let's say one. One is fine. There we go. It's a cute character, and now he's ready to be colored. You can color him in any way we want. Ugh. Okay, that's better. Yellow. Yellow teeth. Dark purple lips. And green shirt. Green pants. He's in all green sweats. And dark green shoes. Let's add on top of this since we're having fun here with the actual brush tool. Ugh, that's, that looks weird. Okay. Now it looks like he's wearing a hoodie. That's cool, yeah. It's very easy and very simple to do it. Oh, and here's another cool trick since we're here. Let's change the color of the stroke, the pencil stroke. And let's create some shadow on this guy. So here's what I'm doing basically. I'm creating a line and I'm gonna change the color here. So what happens is I, if I double click and select this, it will only select the red color. So now I was able to create a bit of shadow using just basic stroke. Cool? Cool. Let's do some more. When these lines are interjecting, if I double click the red line, oops, sorry, it'll select only the red line. That's the cool part. Let's say I select the wider color, lighter color, sorry. It's easier to do it this way, actually. Boop. There we go. And we can fix this by doing this as well. Super easy, man. Anyway, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm never gonna use this character ever again. This he sucks. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Uh, yeah. How do I stop?